And are you happy? You should be if you're not. This should make you happy. It makes me happy. <laughs> um, I'm going to do a cooking video. And I'm going to cook for my father and my brother. Uh, they love pinto beans. And I'm at home now. So I was just dreaming about what can I cook for them in the Instant Pot in the cottage. I'm going to make cornbread without an oven. I'm going to do it on top of the stove, I think. But we'll see how that works out. And I got the beans, the pinto beans. Unfortunately, I don't have the uh, time to soak them. or Otherwise, I would soak these 24, 48 hours, something like that. But I'm going to do a, the pressure cooker method in the Instapot. And uh, so can't soak them, but we're going to do it that way. And I'm thinking about putting this meat in, this turkey uh, uh, kielbasa in. I'll probably put that in. And let's see. And I need to boil some eggs because uh, I like to eat eggs sometimes in the morning or just as a quick, just something to eat. So I'll boil some eggs in the Instapot, but that has nothing to do with the cornbread and pinto beans. This is a wine night. <laughs> I'm gonna drink Stella Rosa and this is green apple. I've not tried the green apple yet but I can imagine it's gonna taste good. I can imagine it's gonna be yummy. So I just picked this up today while I was at Winco. I was at Winco. So here is my wine. Mm. It smells good. Stella Rosa, green apple. Oh, this is good. I'm not sponsored. They're not sponsoring these videos, but we're going to have to work on something. Let me get started, though. Here are the eggs. I have 10 eggs in here. And it's supposed to be a cup of water. I don't have a measuring cup, uh, but I think it's a little bit more than a cup up in here. So it's not going to matter. I'm sure it's not going to matter. It's for the steam. So... There's a feature here that says egg, and it already set it at five minutes. So I'm gonna hit start. Yeah. While these eggs are cooking, then I'm gonna go get to work on chopping up some vegetables, cleaning my beans, and you know, so so that'll be doing that. All right, so be back. I, I don't have very much space, so I'm just working with the dishes that I have, and I don't have a colander. I just have what I have. I found my colander so I can strain my beans, make it a little bit easier to make sure I inspect and see that there are no uh, rocks or foreign objects other than beans up in these bad boys. So I found it when I was digging through the, uh, the drawers to look for this and it fell in the back. The drawers are really tight, but I needed my cutting board. So just wanted to let you know I found it, yay. <laughs> uh, did you know that green bell peppers are really just green because they stopped the coloring process, uh, but actually a, a, a ripe bell pepper will have color. It'll be red, it'll be orange, it'll be yellow. Green bell peppers are bell peppers that have not fully colored. That's a little tidbit information right there. <laughs> Hopefully you can use it. I'm gonna cut this. This is gonna go into my beans. Yeah, so I'm gonna cut this up. And I'll cut up the onion. I'll cut up the cilantro. That's going into the beans. And I will top the beans with green onion. Okay, I've chopped the red bell pepper. Now I'm going to get to the cilantro. I'm using a whole bunch of, uh, one bundle, one bunch of cilantro. I love cilantro. I love the way it tastes. I love the way it smells. And cilantro is actually excellent for you. It's a body detoxifier. Cilantro and parsley detoxifies the body, uh, like aluminum. I'm recalling my juicing days and the days of when I was vegan and vegetarian and made my smoothies and juices religiously. But, uh, but to eat it raw is that's when you really want it. You want to be able to juice it 
uh, and they make excellent juices. One of these days, when I uh, when I get back to my uh, Vitamix, I'm actually gonna bring the Vitamix in here, and I will make smoothies. I'm gonna bring it in uh, my juicer. I'll probably even bring my juicer. But I'll be honest with you, that's probably gonna be something I'm doing while I'm on Sure Power, because uh, uh, I, it's a lot of cleaning you have to do to the vegetables and the fruit, and you know, cleaning up behind yourself. Um, so I won't want to do it boondock situation, which is what I'm in right now. So, but just want to tell you about the cilantro. Excellent for you. Parsley, excellent. That's why I like to put it in my salads as much as I can, especially when I make my own salads. So next we're going to go ahead and work on this onion. Let's hope I don't start crying. My father loves onions and garlic, fresh garlic. But because I didn't want to uh, have leftovers, uh, you know of the garlic I I didn't buy it so I'm gonna use some uh, already prepared garlic that's what I'll put into the dish all this that is on this plate is gonna go into the pressure cooker For onions right here red bell pepper and cilantro okay so I'm on the last um, section of the kielbasa the turkey kielbasa sausages I'm gonna grab this to kind of keep the steam from overtaking this whole area. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and let that vent. So like I said, here the sausages are already cut up. I'm gonna saute the sausages in the probably gonna do it in the Instapot. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it in the Instapot. And uh, and then like I said, these are already ready. So I'm gonna put this to the side. Wait for these eggs to be ready for me to take them out. Okay, turn it off so that it's supposed to be off. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And give me a drink of this. Mmm, this green apple is yummy. All right, so now that the eggs are done cooking and it's been fully vented, and let's see about taking this top off. interesting <laughs> they kind of cracked a little bit some of them cracked i don't know if i should have had a lot more water i'm not sure but this is what they look like a couple of them cracked but that's it doesn't it's, that's fine by me so now what i'm going to do i don't have a ice bath of water that i will put this in but i'm going to go ahead and just kind of dump them in here. Oh, ouch, it burned me. Ouch. It burned me. <laughs> Ow. Ew. Ew. Okay, that's hot. Okay. So, okay, so let me get to get get to taking this uh that's hot. <laughs> that's hot. Hot yeah yeah. I burned myself, y'all. The first two eggs that I uh, I shelled, the shell came off perfectly. My eggs are done. Good. Now, towards the end, a couple of my eggs started. See, beautiful. You see that? A real hard-boiled egg, and it's not overcooked. You know, an overcooked hard-boiled egg has that green haze around it i used to i remember i used to tell my mother when i saw kids go to school with hard-boiled eggs and i'm i would tell mama i would say mama how come my eggs don't look like their eggs their eggs have that green thing around it that dark green and she said that's because they overcooked them and i was like oh i didn't know that so that's a sign that your egg was overcooked if it starts getting that green so i'm gonna go ahead and take these two eggs that are all kind of chopped up looking crazy and this is what I'm gonna eat tonight so that's what I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna go ahead and put these in Ziploc bag a big Ziploc bag fairly big one anyway um, so I can store them in my little refrigerator here and so when I want some eggs as I'm traveling I can go ahead and grab a couple of them and eat them and you know and I, I feel very very satisfied that way so here we go. 
Okay, next I'm going to saute the meat. I'm not going to put this meat in with the beans because this is already cooked, but I want to brown it and saute it. And on the Instapot, I'm turning, uh, hitting the button for saute. And, it's, and I'm going to hit start. This is olive oil. And I'm going to put this in here to give it a, because I'm going to saute the onions first. Am I going to saute them first? No, I'm going to saute the meat first. That's what I'm going to do. So then the meat will release some oils and then it'll help uh, put the flavor into the uh, onions. So that's how I'm going to do it. And I'll see if I need to add a little bit of oil with it because I don't want it to burn. And something to stir it around with. Let's see. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm videotaping. I'm uh, sauteing the uh, meat right now, the sausage, and then sauteing the onions. What kind of sauce you get? Uh, ch turkey kielbasa. You know, I love I kielbasa. Heard that well, you heard of kielbasa. Do I have Yeah. Okay. Okay, darling. Uh, mm -hmm. you, you be blessed and have a good night. Okay, thank uh, you. You too. Yeah, because see the weather getting cold, you know, starting to get cold now, you know. That's oh, why right. it does. You, you walk in the afternoon, mm -hmm. and then it, now it's getting cold now, I feel coming in now. Yeah, that's how the desert is. Okay. okay. All right, I'll okay. Talk, to, talk to you later. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's looking a little bit like I need to put a little more oil in it. I wish I didn't have to. I don't like a lot of oil, but I also don't want to burn up the pot either. Okay, much to my surprise, it actually cleans up really quickly. So I've removed the uh, sausages and I put them in a different. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in here because I had to clean out the pot thinking that I was hoping that I could use that oil, but I can't. So I had to clean out the pot because it was burning. Let's see if this is hot. So I just poured a little bit of oil in and maybe that's two tablespoons. I'm not sure. Maybe a tablespoon. And I have it on saute already. You might be able to see that. And I'm going to put these onions in first. I don't have to saute this because it's going to end up burning. So I'm just going to do a little bit of saute. If it seems like it wants to burn, then abort that operation. <laughs> and then uh, I'll go on to putting the beans in and all the other things. So I'm going to have some vegetable. I'm going to do, I couldn't find uh, tomato paste or tomato chunks. I couldn't find what I needed at that store. So I bought some tomato soup that I might pour in there because I need to get about six quarts of water or so, or liquids, let's say it that way. Some mild chili uh, to help start it with the flavor. I'll put a bit of cumin in there. And I have, this is smoked Cajun seasoning. I'm putting that in there. I'm going to put in some smoked paprika. Ooh, it smells so good. Mmm, it just got a whiff of it. It smells good. So let's see. How come you're not sauteing? Oh, it turned itself off. Okay. So we did, uh, it's getting late. I'm going to play with this just for a second. But if it doesn't want to act right, then it won't. Then I'm going to abandon it. And I'm going to put in these here sun-dried tomatoes. That's going to make it taste yum, 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 yum. I'm going to put in some a bay leaf or two. One of these, one of these bad boys. And I think that's going to be, oh, there's going to be more seasonings because I'm a seasoning person. I, I'm all about the seasoning. All about it. So I'm going to go ahead and dilute this, one of these. Now, so that um, because when it's once you close the lid on the Instapot, there's no stirring. So you whatever stirring you need to do, you need to do it 
before you close the lid. So this thing, let's see how big this is. That's pretty big. I don't want this big piece because I'm going to have a lot of other stuff that has salt in it. And so I'm going to put it in. Where did my knife go? Where you at, knife? Don't hide from me. Okay, well, that knife wants to hide from me. I'm going to go ahead and use half half of this here bouillon this is uh tomato bouillon chicken flavor that's what this is so perfect because i'm putting tomatoes in and everything and so i'm going to get some bottled water where are you bottled water here you are this water is not filtered i don't trust it because i've been using other people's um other services to get water wait a minute why aren't you on Saute. It's not sauteing for some reason. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, we're going to keep it moving. And if this doesn't act right, then apparently sauteing the onions is not in the cards. And that's not a problem. I'm going to keep it going. Because it's late, y'all. Actually, that wine is feeling good to me. Ooh. Oh, I'm just about to tip that over but I don't know I don't know how well this is gonna turn out either cuz I don't I don't have what I need to really smash it up good if I think if I had boiled if I had the room I would have boiled the water and then put it in here and it would have dissolved this real good but didn't do it it's okay <laughs> so now I'm gonna go ahead and just get this over with I'm gonna add these tomato, this uh, sun-dried tomatoes, that's going to be so good. I love a good sun-dried tomato. In fact, I think I'm going to keep a piece out for my eggs so I can cut it up in my eggs. Maybe I'll keep two pieces out. And I'm going to put this in there. That's going to be good, good, good. Sun-dried tomatoes, half, or julian, julian, if that's what you have. And then I'm going to put in the cilantro and the red pepper. Put all that up in there. And then I'm going to squirt in some of this garlic. This is garlic. Put this in. Just, I mean, I go by feel. I just squirt some in there. I, I, I guess you can say two tablespoons one or two tablespoons how about that if that's what you want to hear <laughs> and then i'm going to grab my beans my beans have been cleaned and strained so i'll put those in there you go beans i'm going to put in some liquid smoke i love liquid smoke love 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 i put that in a lot of stuff so i guess you could say a teaspoon i don't know We'll call it that. And I'm gonna put in this here mild chili that's already made. It makes it easier, especially since I'm not in my kitchen at home where I have lots of seasonings. Uh, so I'm just gonna pour this in here. I'm gonna go ahead and pour in that chicken tomato bouillon. Put that in here, but so don't forget about it. This is the uh, smoked paprika that I got from the bulk section. All right, so I'm gonna put, uh, I guess you could say a, a half a teaspoon or table, teaspoon of that, which was smoked paprika. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw my bay leaf in. Bay leaves remind me of my father. He put bay leaves in his beans all the time. Shout out to daddy. So here's one bay, one big bay leaf. What the heck? In honor of daddy, <laughs> two bay leaves. <laughs> yeah, my father loved these pinto beans. He used to make pinto beans so much. Oh man, I used to get so pissed off when he'd make another batch of pissed pinto beans. I'm like, I'm hungry, I want something else. He said, there's pinto beans up in there. You better eat all that food up. I was like, I didn't ask you for pinto beans. I'm tired of pinto beans, but I like them now. 
I don't love them. They're not my favorite, but I like them now. So this is smoky Cajun seasoning. We're going to put some of that up in there too. Okay. You're probably like, what kind of flavors are you going for? Trust me, it's going to be good. <laughs> it's going to be good because I go by how I feel. And I felt like putting Cajun seasoning in. So I just put about a half a tablespoon, a half a teaspoon of that in there. I don't know how salty. I probably should test it. Let me see how much salt is in there. Let's see. Oh, it's spicy. My father loves spicy. My brother, too. Yeah, yeah, that's good enough. I'm glad I tested it because I hadn't tried it before. So now I know to go easy on the black pepper if I choose to put some in there. So I like this. This is for guacamole. But I like it because it has uh, a lot of herbs up in there that I would love to have in the pinto beans. It's an herb blend. And it has, I see onions green onions i see okay so it's red onion cilantro dry lemon peel dry tomato red chili garlic so i'm gonna put some of these in here give it some more flavor i guess you could say i put in two i don't know one or two tablespoons teaspoons let's say teaspoon so we're gonna put some cumin in there yeah Ooh, that's gonna really smell like some good old like beans, you know, Mexican beans. And so I'm gonna put this in a plastic bag because I don't want it spilled all over the place. And Lord knows, I do not want my rig to be smelling like cumin everywhere I go. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the vegetable or uh, vegetable broth. I was gonna get chicken broth, but. That's because I thought I was going to keep it vegan or vegetarian, but I, it, now that I had the meat, I'm, I'm obviously it's the meat version. But it's for my, like I said, it's for my brother and my father. So I should have taken a picture of how it looked with the seasoning on top. That was actually pretty pretty. That was actually pretty pretty. <laughs> Does that make any sense? <laughs> All right. Okay, so this is this is what it looks like so far. I put in all those seasonings that you just saw and spices, the couple of bay leaves, the onions, all that. So, but we're not done yet. I still have more to go, but this is a little sneak peek. And now these are my tomato. This is actually tomato soup. But like I said, I couldn't find, in that store, I couldn't find the tomato sauce that I wanted. But tomato soup, tomato sauce, fine. It all works for me. So I'm gonna put in two cans. And to get the rest of it out, I'll add a little water to it. You know, to, cause I need water in it anyway. Uh-oh. -uh. Okay, that's probably the best it's going to get because I really don't want to make a mess up in here. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to give it a stir. See what we're looking like. Oh, this is so pretty. I'm excited to cook for my, my father and my brother. Oh, I'm excited. I know they're going to love it. You know, my father, he can't eat as much at a time, but he, he's going to, I put a little bit more smoke sauce. I know he's going to love it. I know he is, and I can't wait. It just warms my heart to do it. <laughs> That's the truth. I'm putting a little bit of Larry's seasoning salt. I might not even need it, but I'm doing it anyway. Just a little bit. I'm going to add a little more water because I'm afraid that with a lot of the tomato sauce and the tomatoes, that it may um i don't want it to burn and it's got to cook i think i don't want to say what time i'm going to look at it real quick it's got to cook for yay long but i don't want to mess up and say the wrong time so i'll give you that answer uh once i know it for certain so okay so let me see what what it tastes like i'm going to go ahead and give it a little taste 
Mm, that's good. But it still needs some work. Still needs a little bit more work. I'm going to put a little bit of Lara seasoning salt. Some more. That's, I mean, I don't know how much that is. We're going to say a tablespoon, another tablespoon. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit more garlic in there. And I want to put some more of this Cajun seasoning because it does have salt in it. And I forgot to buy some Himalayan sea salt. I knew there was something I was forgetting. Um, I don't, I don't want to, I don't feel like grabbing another spoon. So I'm just going to pour it in here and hopefully I don't pour too much. Yeah, so that's going to be that. And, and of course I can't forget that the meat will be added to it. But the meat will not be cooked with it because I don't want to overcook and dry it out. And it maybe it would have been fine. I don't know. But uh, my first mind tells me to just leave it separate. You can always add it. I'm sure it's going to have a lot of flavor anyway. Let's see. I think that's good enough. That should be good enough, you know. Because, of, my, of course, my father being of age... He has to watch his salt intake. So I'm going to be cool. I'm going to be cool. Let me see. I'm going to grab another bottle of water. And I want to make sure. Let's see where the line is. The fill line. Okay. Max fill. I'm going to get add enough water to hit the max fill. Then. Yeah. And that should be good. So let me show you. Uh oh, that fell. Let me show you. Okay, so now I've added enough water and fluids so it's at the max fill line. You can see that right there. So there we go. Isn't that pretty? It's not cooked yet, but it sure is beautiful. Mmm, 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 mmm. All right, so now I'm going to uh, double check the time that it needs to cook. I'm going to clean up a little of this mess and then I'm going to come back and show you how I turn it on and I will work on the cornbread. That's what will be next. That's what will be next. That will be next. <laughs> this is what it looks like so far. I put in all those seasonings that you just saw and spices, the couple of bay leaves, the onions, all that. So, But we're not done yet. I still have more to go, but this is a little sneak peek. Okay, I couldn't resist the lemon pepper. I love lemon pepper and so much stuff. I love lemon. I'm going to have to buy another one. I didn't realize I was getting this low. But I like a little lemon pepper. It gives it a little zesty, zangy something quality. So I had to come back and show you that that's awesome. And now I've added enough water and fluids. So it's at the max fill line. You can see that right there. So there we go. Isn't that pretty? It's not cooked yet, but it sure is beautiful. Pressure cooker. And I'm going to add 25 minutes. 25 minutes. And the temperature is going to be high. And then I'm going to put the lid on. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Okay. And I'm making sure the vent is on seal which it is, and now I'm gonna hit start. Yes, start done cooking. I will turn it off and let it slowly release, you know, let it release naturally, which might take another 25 minutes. So we're looking at a little bit of time with this, but um, that's why this is really good if I was doing this on shore power, because on generator, on, yeah, I'm using a lot of generator hours right here. So, but that's the brakes. I really wanted to do this for my father and my brother. So that's what the joy is. <laughs> I'm not gonna sweat the other stuff. <laughs> okay, so I have the Jiffy cornbread. I'm gonna pour it in Pretend like this is a mixing bowl. 
even though it's not, but that's the best I could do because guess what? I'm in a van, a small van, and I'm limited in space. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this egg. It's a fresh egg. Crack that bad boy. Put it in there. It's only one, you only need one egg per box. And then I'm going to give it a stir to kind of get it started a bit. Yeah, and then I will, I have butter that I've just melted. I'm gonna throw this butter up in there. Butter, 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 butter. And I wish, I have a smaller can of milk. I don't have fresh milk, because I'm living in a limited in space. So I'm gonna use this. I bought this, I have a smaller can and they didn't have any at the store, but I don't feel like digging in my trunk to go find it. So I'm just gonna rock with this. And maybe in the morning, uh, when I, if I make oatmeal, I might maybe I'll add it to my oatmeal so it won't go to waste. Now it's supposed to be a third of a cup. We're gonna eyeball this, and really, this this milk is actually thick. This is actually pretty rich like this. It probably should be diluted, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go ahead and pretend like it's regular vitamin D dairy milk out of the refrigerator and what I'm gonna do is I've never done this on stovetop before so I'm gonna make like uh, think of them like tea cornbread cakes something like that or pancakes cornbread pancakes uh, that's what that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna cook it very slowly because it does have sugar in it of course the sugar is gonna want to burn if the temperature is too high but we're not gonna let that sugar do that because the sugar ain't running nothing we're running this while we at it while we running something it's time for a pause for the calls do i look sleepy y'all i am sleepy i'm tired but this is not for me this is for the people for the people my brother and my father I keep mentioning them because my mother I know she's not gonna eat them she, I don't think she's she eats beans and peas she says she's allergic to a lot of stuff but here we go to the cornbread may it be a success I would say with Yah's blessing but I don't want to make it seem like I'm making fun of our father while I'm drinking wine but Jesus did make turn water into into wine. If you yeah, that's in the Holy Bible. Mm -hmm. oh. Of course, he doesn't want us to abuse it and be a lush head or anything. Look at this candle. This candle. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, it smells so good. Where did I get this candle? I don't remember where I got it, but midnight rain. It smells so good. I have to be incredibly careful because I don't want to knock over anything. So let me get back to let me get back to my situation. I'm gonna pour just a little bit more milk up in there. Cause I don't want it I want it to I'm gonna see how this works out. The first one works out. Cause I want it to definitely be able to cook all the way. So now Here's my pot. I'm gonna use, I have an olive oil. Olive oil, where are you? Okay, there she goes. I have an olive oil that is butter olive oil. Organic is from the Virgin Olive Oiler. And this is a very special place that I love buying my olive oils and my vinaigrettes uh, from them. I love buying, oh, this stuff tastes good. They are so good. They take all your food next level. So this is uh, found at the Virgin Olive Oil. And they are found, Stephanie, your arms are ashy. They are found uh, in Fort Worth, downtown Fort Worth. And uh, let them know Stephanie sent you. This is not sponsored. But I'm sure let him know that, and he knows, he knows I love his olive oil. Come on, light. Come on. Come on. 
How you do this? Mm. Why isn't any propane coming out? I don't know what's going on. Okay, I do not know why my stove was not igniting. It wasn't lighting. I don't know why. I've tried to use this electric hot plate um, last time I cooked in here and it didn't act right. I don't know. We're going to see what's going to happen if I can, if I don't overload it because the Instapot is probably, uh, my, it's at least a thousand watts and maybe 15 or 1800. I'm not even sure. This one I know is a thousand watts. So we're gonna see what's gonna happen. We'll we'll see. If this doesn't work, I think I can cook the cook the cornbread in here, and it might have to after the beans are cooked. So that means it's gonna be a late night for me. But I've already started it. So my father loves cornbread. Got to give my daddy what he wants. <laughs> so let's see how that's gonna. I was looking up on YouTube, actually Google. These are two of my boiled eggs and then two of those sun-dried tomatoes. And then I put a little bit of this seasoning, smoked paprika, onion, garlic, and pepper. I put that in there. That's, we're gonna call that my dinner. I don't want anything else. I'm actually, I'm more thirsty than anything, but, um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna eat, and I'm gonna be happy because I am. What are the nutritional facts of pinto beans? And Google says pinto beans are extremely nutritious. They are an excellent source of protein, fiber, vitamins, and minerals. These nutrients may provide several benefits, including improved blood sugar control and heart health. Pinto beans are also rich in various antioxidants and may help lower your risk of cardiac disease. See, that's pinto beans. Pinto beans are what's up. Okay, pinto beans are the most popular dry beans in the United States. I think that's something. Pinto beans are not only full of vitamins and minerals, but may also offer several impressive health benefits. And they listed seven of them. Let's see what these seven are. They're loaded with nutrients, excellent source of fiber, rich in antioxidants, may lower blood sugar regulation, may aid heart health, may boost weight loss. I would guess because of the fiber, because it's rich in fiber, maybe help you with the bowel movements. And easy to add to your diet. And they're inexpensive. I'm gonna throw that one in. But like I said, my father loves some pinto beans. And, um, you know, I wish y'all could smell that. I wish, can you see the steam? Just a little bit of steam, can you see that? Oh, I'm starting to smell it. Oh, it's so fragrant. Oh. All right, I'm still waiting. I don't even want to sit down because if I sit down, I realize how tired I am. So, what shall I do? I can organize. Let me organize some stuff and I'll be back. It's the next morning. It was getting late, so I decided to go ahead and pick up where I left off. So I've cleaned off the pot. I've added a little more than a cup of water. Um, it should be at least a cup of water. And then I've oiled my pan with my favorite, one of my favorite oils that I get from the Virgin Olive Oiler in Texas. It's in downtown Fort Worth and it's a butter flavor. That's the one I brought with me, but I have all kinds of infused butter. That's what it is, but I have all kinds of lots. <laughs> I don't have as many as the store has, but if he runs out, he knows where to go. <laughs> so I'm trying to oil this as best I can. And then this is the cornbread already mixed up. I poured the batter into the uh, pot and pot. It's, this is the pot and pot method. And so now I'm gonna put the lid on, put the lid on properly. And then I go ahead and 
clamp this down. All right, so now I'm gonna grab the lid to the Instapot. And I'll scoot this over because I want the steam to come out underneath my, this here glass right here. So it doesn't mess up my, this here particle board. Now is the tricky part. I think, okay, we're gonna go with cake. Let's see how long the cake is gonna take. That's 30 minutes, I don't need that much time. I think this only needs about, my guess is probably only 10 minutes. And then I'll let it cool off naturally. So that's what I'm gonna go with. But I'm gonna reduce that time down to 10 minutes. And I that's gotta be plenty, I'm sure this. In fact, I almost wanna say, nah, okay, we'll, we'll say 10 minutes. Easy number to remember. And pressure cooking temperature should be on high. And we're gonna hit start. Let's see, make sure my seal is on. This is vent, this is seal. And here we go, I'm gonna hit start. This is a big reveal. Now, let's go ahead and make sure all that pressure is out. I'm gonna do the vent. It's been slowly releasing about eh, 12 minutes. Okay, so that's it. And now I'm going to open it. Let's see what we have. Okay, still a lot of water in there. Appears to be that it was sufficient amount of water. Oh, let's see. Stephanie, don't burn yourself. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I did put too much water in it because it boiled over. And it seemed like it made the, the lid want to lift a little. Oh, hope I didn't mess this up. But if I did, it's a learning. It's a learning opportunity. Okay. Now this is hot. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Epic fail. <laughs> what the heck? This did not turn out like cornbread's supposed to. Uh, I think it's undercooked. Let me see. And definitely, I think some water got into it. Let me see. Let me see. I think it's undercooked. Yeah, it's, 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 I think it's undercooked. Maybe I should have had it on 15 minutes or something. But... Maybe I needed it on 20 minutes. I don't know. I have to do some research. But yeah, that, that's not kosher. Mm. But that part tastes like cornbread. <laughs> so it looked like it was, it just needed more time, I'm thinking. I'm going to perfect this. I know it looks crazy. And I'm not going to serve this to my father and my brother. Yeah, I think it just needed more time because as I take this layer off, it seems like it was trying to get with the program, you know. But it tastes like cornbread. Oh, look at that piece right there. Look at that. That looks like a nice piece of cornbread. That's pretty. This is an epic fail. And I'm not about to start this process all over again. It just ain't gonna be no cornbread on the menu. I've topped it off with green onions, red bell pepper, and I think that was it. Uh, I like a little freshness and a little crunch when I have certain dishes. So this made it nicely fine-tuned. And so now I'm gonna go in for the taste. 
which I, I didn't taste it yet this morning. I tasted it last night. But I'm not going to be on camera because I look a hot mess. Oh, it tastes good. It's good. It's better the next day. That's for sure. It is better. It's actually pretty perfect. And I gave my father his batch and my brother his batch. My brother had to go to work, so he didn't get a chance to eat it yet. But my father, he certainly got down on it. And he had to give me a, a secret. He said, here's a secret. Soak your beans for at least 24 hours and slow cook them. So I think that was a hint to, to me that uh, I wasn't up to par to his standard. <clears throat> but he loved the flavor. He did enjoy that I did do it for him. Uh, but I explained to him, I know I, I wanted to soak them. I wish I could have, but I didn't have the time to give up 24 and 48 hours to soak them properly and to slow cook them. Because, I mean, this is the RV life. I'm not on sure power. I'm running the battery. I noticed that Instapot is not friendly to um, the, the, the generator. It takes a lot of time using an Instapot on the generator. So I'll keep that in mind in the future on what I'm going to use it for or if I'm going to meal prep while I'm on sure power and then, you know, use the Instapot only on sure power or not at, unless I'm desperate. But anyway, it came out good. I love the way it tastes. I kept a little batch for myself to eat. I don't want a lot. I know they love the beans more than I do, but I did want to get down on my own creation. Yeah, y'all let me know in your comments what you think. And, um... When you subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell. Otherwise, you won't know when I upload anything unless you happen to look for me. And I'm going to do more often than I more often than not, I'll try to do premieres. So those that are subscribed and are not they'll be notified, especially if they hit the notification bell, I believe, <laughs> that I've uploaded a vehicle and I have I mean a vehicle, <laughs> a video and then I have time to chat live chat with anyone that uh, has time to come and talk about it. You know, talk about whatever they want to talk about because I'll be live chatting. All right, good people. Thank you so much for all you've done. Thank you for hanging up in there, hanging in there. I reached over 200 subscribers. I think at the time of this video, I'm at 203. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the love. And, uh, and I really hope you enjoy my content. Let me know what else you'd like to see. Uh, I won't do an outro. I'll spare you this time. Or maybe not. It depends. When I edit this, I might decide to sing. <laughs> Y'all let me know. <laughs> All right, good people. Y'all take care. Stay blessed. Yes, and stay out of anybody else's mess. For breakfast this morning, I'm going to go ahead and put this in the microwave. These are the pinto beans that I made the other day. And this is raw kale greens and parsley and cilantro. Now, normally I would eat it raw, but um, I don't have time to massage them and all that stuff and get them broken down with the oils and stuff. I, I want to hurry up and get dressed so I can get, you know, hopping on my day. This is my coffee. It's, uh, I make it with the French press and I put tea in it. That's kind of one of my little secrets uh, that I'll give you, you know, recipe ideas of how I do it. I can't really see that. But anyway, but yeah, I mix teas with it. I make it like coffee, but then I put either green tea with it or I have, let's see, I have this here, hibiscus, hibiscus tea, loose tea, and I have this tea. This is, uh, I think it's caffeine free. Loose, I'm not sure if it's caffeine free. It doesn't matter because this is espresso uh, coffee that I have in here. It's express, espresso roast. So that's what I'm having for my breakfast really quickly. And I'm gonna warm up two bottles of water. I need to get my water in badly. So I like to lightly warm that. And I even add, sometimes I add a little bit of juice with it to give it a little flavor, you know, to make it easier to go down. So that's what we got. Getting ready to pop this in the microwave oven and get the hop in. This is how it looks after it's been nuked. I think I nuked it about a minute and a half. 
So it shrank, you can see it shrank down the, the greens and warmed up the beans. And here's my drink. And here's my water boiling. And I have my water ready. I pour the cranberry juice up in there. This is kind of for overflow. And then I'll fill these bottles up. I don't want it to boil though, because it makes it too hot. Just want to get a little bit, just, just put a little heat on it. A light, a little trickle. Put a little heat on it, then I can get this water down. Okay. This was a long one. I didn't mean to make it so long, but I had a lot of content to cover. Y'all subscribe, hit that notification bell, and come back.